turn 47 then. And let's have a look at what he did that turn. So, that's the overall situation. Up in the north with that Prussian cavalry, he's just sort of doing what I'm doing. Sh uh, show force along that ridge line. I'm not going to go any closer to him. Um, he's withdrawing all his Prussian cavalry away. However, he did move some Russian cavalry up. They These guys all appeared and started on the move. So, I had to sort my cavalry out to... Um, can he see any of my cavalry? That's another question. Uh, so you'll see my heavies. Hopefully they're all ready to go now. Um, and sort my cavalry out just because if he continues going forward here, they're going to meet head on. And we're going to have yet another cavalry charge. So that'll be interesting. Um, he, he's got to think for skirmishers, as I've said before, mentioned before. And he went for the skirmishers in this town here with some um, cavalry as well. So an odd decision. Um, went with uh, the skirmishers here. Thankfully, nothing in front of Eilau. Um Over here, um, nothing major. He, he sort of moved troops back still. He, he's, I don't know if he's withdrawing or he's going to a new line or he's got another surprise for me up here. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and here, we had some... Somebody's missing, I think. So, I think we may have some routed guard cavalry somewhere, have we? Mm, can't see any um, so I would sort that stack out um, but yeah but uh, this was the major thing um, yeah <laughs> more guns just what I need all these guns here happily fired on all my cavalry over here so I need to I don't think I'll be able to take them with cavalry just because getting over the river over the bridge and what have you is going to be a nightmare so I'm going to have to sort of have a rethink and face to the west um, and sort my cavalry out. So I'll get back to you once we're done and dusted. Um, uh, yeah, nothing major apart from all that. Right, straight into combat then. Right up in the north, out off. Um, just move some cavalry around. Um, we do have some charges on the Prussian cavalry to sort out. Uh, so we'll go in with Valthier um, uh, straight up the rear of these Prussians. We've got uh, 200, let's say. And we'll get these Hussars in on the act as well, just to make sure. Good. Um, got a lot of my division over the river, which is good. Uh, sorted out two lines of lovely cavalry, ready for whatever these Russians are going to throw at me. Um, I did notice these, uh, the infantry here, are look to be fresh. 400, so that's probably a brand new fresh unit. Um, so, there's quite a bit going here. He's got infantry here, but not many of them whether that's from before um, uh, but yeah so we need to well we, we are I am ready for anything that he throws at me here I hope um, so we'll carry on with some artillery on anything we can some Cossacks and some Dragoons we'll have the Dragoons out of them much more of a threat than Cossacks uh, okay and actually can they Fire on them, I wonder. 180 Lancers, definitely. Have a go at them. Nice. Um, so we've got horse artillery here that you can fire as well. But they're not the best place. Maybe I should move them forward one. Risky, but I think I will. Just because this hex, 65 feet, 60. Yeah, it's a better hex. And they're in square, so they're protected against cavalry. Move that square up. Um, around here, we can horse artillery on these guys. Um, I think they can see them. They can. So not many of them at all. Handful only. Um, around here, um, I'm starting to move Juf Arkays with the artillery, but... We need somebody. They just remain routed for ages. I wonder if I separate them will help. I am moving down uh, Lebrun from Imperial HQ to try and deal with that, um, just in case there's any more as well. So here we hopefully be able to rally the troops there. I'm um, bringing these guys back because I noticed he's creeping around here. So he is going for that gap to that end. I might also bring some troops down. Um, I pulled that gun out and pulled it down for... Uh, um, for Sir Parlin, didn't I? So, these guys, I think we can have a go with these guys. Yep, yeah. uh, not with our muskets, we can't. The synonymous Colonel Anonymous, we'll get him in the act. 
try and push them back, which we do. Good. And move them up out of the town. Oh, I moved that artillery around in a bit of a better position. We've got artillery here that we can move as well. I limber that up. And I think we do have some troops here that I brought in, especially for. Um, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them, maybe more than I thought. So I think we'll have a go with these guys here and these guys here. Nice, which leads to an artillery charge. Good. We get Mule in with his dragoons. If you say so. That's all I'll say to that one. Um, if you say so. Uh, so we can get these guys. Can they move another hex? No. Um, put some guns up on that high ground and moved a lot of artillery forward, limited it all up, and we're going to create a battery sort of on this high ground. Um, <coughs> excuse me, on this ridge here, it's quite a nice place for it. So when that visibility clears, hopefully we'll have good eyes overlooking everything south of that Klein South Garden. Um, where else do we get here? Um, I moved some fresh troops up to the side of this artillery battery to try this time to get rid of it. Which we do, very nice, good. Um, and didn't really have much cavalry there for a charge, so um, I just moved it all forward, really, ready for the next turn. Because I think the guard cavalry, as good as they are, they're a little bit outnumbered over here, and they need a little bit of help. So all this cavalry, I know they've been heavily involved all day, pretty much, um, but they need to get their asses around and uh, give that guard cavalry a hand. We've got a charge here, and Milhor, is it Milhor Murat himself? Didn't charge. Oh, wasn't paying attention, forgot to press the charge button. And that's the net result. Probably less enemy dead than would have been on a charge, or would have been. You get three times the bonus for a charge. Uh, or two, three or two. I think three or two. One of the two, or three. Um, I've got a square there. Uh, I separated that stack of cavalry um, just because it's only fair. So I can't charge with them on this turn, but I can charge with the Chasseur or Cheval. Um, where is. I'm bringing uh, someone else from HQ down. Riel, he's coming down eventually to join up and lead some of the guard cavalry, but he's not quite there yet. Um, and. A lot of dragoons just floating around in a rear. All right, so we'll have a go with a Chasseur Cheval. Okay, not the greatest. Move some cavalry away from all these guns, but left some here just because they were in a good position to charge the rear of this Russian cavalry. Okay, um, we won't have a charge there. We do here. Who have we got? They're up on the high ground. So there's an awful lot of cavalry still rolling around. Some of it's old, some of it's new. We'll try. They're not really holding their own, the gold cavalry. They're not doing the greatest. I haven't handled them that badly. Um, roll the dice isn't going in our favour. I think maybe as well, because it's heavy snow, the, I think the weather has, or I'm pretty sure the weather has an effect um, on like the dice roll. So you won't get be as effective in heavy snow. You think real life horses going through a heavy snow and a snowstorm, um, snow up to their knees, um, uh, that it won't be as effective. So it wasn't maybe the best time to use the guard cavalry, but I had to do something just because all of this started to appear. Um, what else have we got? They can have a go. With a melee. Okay, push them back. Nice. There's not many of them left. Um, these Shastra Chevals, I've pushed them forward to uh, Sardinian. Uh, just have a look there, uh, make sure there's no Russian. So they're acting as scouts, um, and it looks like we'll take it without a fight. Uh, well, I thought that would climb South Garden as well. <laughs> so there's, there's probably 100 guns there and 1,000 cavalry, but we shall see. A lives looking good, so I think that's pretty much. We'll get these guys into the woods a bit more out of the way. Um, and try and get them going the long way around. They might be able to join up back up with the army. Um, maybe not, especially if they've got Cossacks uh, trailing them all the way. It would make life difficult, but that's what Cossacks did. Um, okay, we've got nobody here that we can do anything with. Um, we've charged with them, we've charged with them. So I think... Ah, 
this square again. We'll have another crack at this square. Probably come off worse again. Yeah. They are some good troops, whoever they are. Alright, well, I'll send that over to them. And I will sign on again when, once I get the turn back. 1048. And lots of stuff happened. Well, it didn't happen, but uh, we had a lot of movement in that one. Um, Prussians, as as they were up in the north, nothing major there. Uh, it has moved that cavalry forwards right into the path of my heavies. Um, and we're going to have to deal with that. More guns, uh, goes without saying. He's moved a lot of guns up, so... Um, sorry, but you're going to have to go and try and take those guns. And he's got some men in with him. Not a lot, though. Some guns there as well. Infantry, more infantry appeared. Not too much. I think it's the, the dregs of what was left earlier on. More guns. Around Eilau. So he, he's pushing in this north side, northwest corner of Eilau. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. Um, yeah, it's quite thin there, actually. Um, I'll have to have a think about that one. Um, along here, he continues to move these guys across towards the Windmill Knoll. Um, where else have we got? Up here. He didn't really do anything up here. He, he tried to attack here. Um, but didn't actually do it. Uh, he, he didn't pull anything off. Just caused disorderment. Pulling everyone back. Pulling everyone back. Which is good news for us. Um, along here, a lot of cavalry. So, <coughs> excuse me, the guard cavalry are getting a little bit isolated. However, we do have Murat and his cavalry coming up as well. The reserve cavalry. So, might if we're lucky, be able to sandwich them in. Um, these guns, there is more guns up here, but they cause chaos um, on the poor Grenadier Cheval and the Chasseur Cheval of the Guard, so... Yeah, okay, it's continuing pretty much where, where I left you off last time. Um, nothing major. A bit concerned about that gap. When you look at it from, the, from, a, from a distance, it is quite a big gap. Um, but nothing's appeared yet, so these skirmishers are acting as uh, as a screen, as scouts, a bit far away from their main unit, but needs must. Somebody's finally got themselves in order, got their fatigue down and managed to sort themselves out. Um, we did say that Jufri was coming up to do that, but... Uh, okay, right, um, I'll get moving, and I'll get back to you in, in a few. Right, straight back in, and we'll get some combat done. Um, up in the north, got interest in there. When I left you, um, I said I'd just move my cavalry around and get ready for uh, an assault here, or to defend against what he was throwing me here. And I did that, and I thought, right, I'll, I'll see if I'll have enough movement points to move these guys forward to take these guns. And lo and behold, on their journey along the ridge, these guns, these guns, these guns, this cavalry, uh, some guns there, um, and a lot of cavalry. So... It's a full-on assault, I would have thought, and more Russian guns yet again. He, I hope. It doesn't look like he's actually defended them. There's some infantry tied in with those guys there, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping, and it's a little bit risky, um, I've even put skirmishes into the line. Okay, I can't uh, fight with those guys, but I'm hoping it's going to be enough. So I'm going to get straight into it. That's my artillery on those dragoons. Um, it's not my heavy cavalry in front, but never mind. Good, but I do have heavy cavalry. Uh, who do we want now? Let's go with the hop hole and his two squadrons. Against a lot of leaders there. Do you know what? In for a penny. In for a pound. We'll leave that big squadron behind and we'll sort out the stack after this. Okay, so that's them dealt with. Um, can these guns see anything? They can. They can probably see how many's there. 400. So we'll have a crack at them. Nice. Nice shooting. Uh, they can see these guns, but I want to have a go at the infantry that's with them um, and then we'll see if my risk by pulling people out of position to actually go and attack the guns was worthwhile uh oh maybe not skirmishers I'm, I'm not holding much hope for these guys 
No, and let's see if you can do anything. Let's get Sheena Shiner in on it as well. So we got, oh, okay, and they just pushed them back in and get them. So a little bit of success, not as much as I like. If that's all, is it horse artillery? No, it's big gun, so that's our only saving grace, I suppose. Um, got some dragoons there. Can these guys actually see them? No. No, so that's that. Mm. Uh, right, yeah, these guys here. Um, we'll have a go. Some guns coming up there. Nothing here, though. That's good. Anyway, just in case... Well, what I might do, that gun's always out of position. That reminds me. So, we'll limber that gun up. Move it f to a slightly more forward position. Next turn. Uh, just because it keeps getting blocked by that sort of orchard. Um, okay, so they fired. We'll move these horse artillery around as well. Doubt they'll be able to see anyone. But just in case that gun pops up. Um, we'll have a go at that. Um, round the windmill now, I started to defend it a little bit better. Um, just by bringing that gun round and just trying to fill in that gap just in case. Because they are swinging around. But I did bring these guys up to attack them from the rear. Um, and hopefully that will work out. Okay, good. It does. Up here, got a lot of people that are units that are disordered again. Um... Although, we'll come up and have a crack at these guys. <gasps> oh, forgot about them. I thought they were a little bit further back. Okay, that's... Um, they're going to get it next time. Not to worry. And they can't see anyone and not within range. So, brought these guys... What have we got there? Four guns and about 500 men. And against 800 with Colonel Anonymous. Come on, Colonel Anonymous. Let's see... <sighs> terrible, 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 terrible idea. Right, you can't win them all. I wonder. It's interesting that um, that option rule I'm not playing with with the um, um, uh, different. I can't remember what it's called. I'll stop there now. The different fire results for. Um, oh, what that's going to annoy me now. The 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 optional fire and optional melee results, yeah. Um, so you get possibly one extreme or the other, and I think that's why I'm noticing some even stranger fire results than normal. Um, carry on then. These guys up on the ridge line are going to carry on pushing forwards. Okay, no luck there. They they are ready to attack these guys from behind. We do push them back, they're disordered though. Have they got the no. They're gonna continue fighting this square, this invincible square. Okay, we're pushing them back a little bit, and not a lot of we could have done there. Um carried on moving my cavalry around to uh south east of Klein Southgarten just to join up that um hopefully a a sandwich move almost um surround this cavalry from both sides. But we'll get to there in a second. Um, and then carried on moving some guns up here. I'm going to have a almost like a grand battery up here by the time I'm finished. Let's bring them forward a little bit. Um, and that's the idea. Anyway. So, finally, we do get around to the cavalry. We'll just have a look what I do in the rear. Just move my Chasseau Chevals around just to scout around. Uh, Riel's finally making it through. We did take um, Sardine in. Um, with our Chasseur Cheval, so it doesn't look like there's anyone there, but I am going to go up this road to Bacartin, just to poke my nose up there and, and scout it out and just see what I can see. Guard Cavalry is it's in a, not a mess. Um, can we charge with anyone here? All of them, good. Um, it's not in a, in a mess, but they're a little bit cut off. They're a little bit overwhelmed, fighting a little bit piecemeal. And it's uh, it's not going great for them. It's not going the best for them. Um, we've got there a lot of... Okay, Chasseur Cheval. Okay, we'll do this one by one. See what I mean? They're not... We need some leadership as well. How did they not get pushed back? Okay. Um... Nobody is charging here. We've got a charge with the Mamelukes though, and some Chasseurs of the Guard. Okay, 
Okay, it works. I'm going to leave them, actually. One, two, three, four. Okay, so next turn that's going to light snow. So we want them at least four hexes away from any artillery. And some shutters and shutter of the guard. Okay, shutter of survival. We'll have a crack. Okay, so we are pushing them back a little bit. That's, that's good. Um, these guys that I bring up as well started to move some troops and guns over just to, to give them a bit of a hand, bring them forward a bit. Um, what have we got there? Uh, I forgot about this cavalry up here that I had lined up for a charge as well. So get these guys from the rear, hopefully. Hell of an attack. Yeah, that, those optional fire results are a hell of a lot better. You just really don't know what you're going to get. Uh, these dragoons, uh, will they have the legs for that cavalry? I don't think they'll be facing them, to be honest. Um, but they might get that infantry, actually, so we'll carry on with that. Actually, no, they're not too tired. Numbers, yes, but... Crikey. Crikey, I'll tell you what. Third charge against this infantry from behind. Finally pushed them back. Now, uh, Stackelberg, he... He was resolute. There was a lot of them. Um, and we finally, finally pushed them back. Um, would that just be too cheeky? Would that just be too cheeky? I think they'll run out of steam. Yeah, they did. And I'll give myself a big old hex. Uh, stack. Never mind. I'll sort that out next time. Um, bring some infantry forwards. Um, yeah. Bring them. Where do I want... I don't want to take them too far, actually, because if I move all that cavalry, that high ground is going to be a little bit unprotected. So, we'll bring them up here. Those guns will come up here as well. Guard cavalry did a little bit better then. Um, we don't have a charge with them, so I won't do anything. I brought these guys out of the range of the guns as well. Um, ready for a charge next time. A lot of dragoons there. A lot of dragoons and some heavy cavalry. <laughs> Just a hodgepodge of all sorts of cavalry. Right, uh, I think for this turn, if I'm not mistaken, that's pretty much all we can do. Might can I limber that up? No, it's just got a nice position overlooking that ravine. Um, yeah, so that's about all I can do this turn. Um, I'll send over and catch you next time.